present. I'm almost Thank ready. You. I have to share the screen. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. So. Hi, everybody. I am going to present an analysis of uh, schoolwork international scheme uh, that has been uh, developed that, that, that has a focus on the student employability. Uh, student employability is a, a, a target also for the quality education goal, uh, the fourth goal of the sustainable development goals for the 2030. And the uh, United Nations expect by 2030 an, an increase of the number of young and adults that uh, uh, will develop a relevant skill uh, for to get a decent job and also to increase their ability in entrepreneurship. But uh, not only for that, but they, because they consider this very relevant for the um, society because it will uh, uh, sustain a uh, much better and sustainable life skill and uh, promote uh, human rights, gender equality, and also the, uh, the preservation of our environment. Um, when we talk about uh, skill, we should have in mind our, uh, uh, let's say, representation uh, space. <coughs> that here is uh, uh, schematically uh, uh, represented by three axes. Uh, the first one, the hard uh, skill, uh, referred to the, those skills that are relevant for the specific uh, domain, while uh, the life soft skill are the transversal or horizontal skill, and the digital soft skill are those skill, uh, digital skills that are relevant for uh, citizenship and also for the personal uh, uh, development of, of each one. Uh, Going into more detail and uh, make a specific case of ICT, these are, for example, the, um, the uh, art skills that are looked for uh, by uh, Italian companies. Uh, maybe they are not looking so far away, but this is what they need to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to uh, um, put in place the productive process nowadays. Uh, as far as the, the digital soft skill, we can consider the 21 competences that have been uh, listed by the Digicom. And uh, as far as the, the uh, uh, life skill or soft skill, we can uh, uh, take as a reference this uh, uh, framework that I developed a few years ago and that organize in uh, sub blocks all the soft skill and life skill and those that I light are the skill that are searched mainly by the EU, UK companies uh, while here in uh, orange frames you see all the uh, the the, the, the competences that are mainly uh, looked for uh, by Italian companies. Um, overall, uh, you cannot acquire all this, uh, those skills uh, uh, during the uh, secondary uh, school. Uh, and this is why uh, when people get out from the, uh, the high school, uh, they uh, do not have the uh, needed uh, skills uh, that are uh, looked for by the, the companies. So this uh, generates you know, a skill mismatch and uh, one has to try uh, to find a solution for uh, this problem and a possible solution are the international schemes um, that in, uh, impose, uh, will impose to the school to, uh, to make a big jump. Uh, from the past to the future, we impose to the uh, educational ecosystem to go from a, a classes and transmissive uh, process to uh, competences based and oriented uh, educational processes. And uh, uh, if you will be able to uh, perform this jump, of course, you will be able to uh, uh, reduce the uh, skill mismatch. Uh, of course, uh, it's not an easy task and uh, there are a lot of critical issues. Uh, 
these are those uh, that are uh, uh, being represented by students and companies. And uh, just to condense, uh, there are a lot of organizational problems in space and time. Uh, there are um, some design issue uh, because sometimes uh, the process are not considered well designed and uh, not all prerequisites they have been checked. And also there is an issue with uh, related to the, the perceived scarcity uh, of the, uh, the experience. Um, on the contrary, there are a lot of uh, expectations by students, parents, schools, and also companies. For example, these are the expectations by companies and uh, that do not uh, take part in uh, or promote uh, alternation scheme only for uh, 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 the social well-being, but also because they expect some competitive advantage. When we organize on um, the <coughs> international scheme, you have to go through uh, several dilemmas. So the, the first one is how to organize the process. If you um, design a process specifically for a given group of students, often you take the student and you try to insert them in a, a, a or already existing working chain or working process. So the second dilemma has to do with the number of people that you can involve. School will expect uh, uh, to offer possibility to uh, all the students, so they expect some sort of massive uh, process. Uh, while on the other hand, the companies have no time, no room to uh, host uh, more than few uh, uh, units of students. So it means that they tend to uh, to organize uh, uh, to favor small groups uh, process. Uh, the third, uh, the third dilemma has to do where to um, to carry on the activities. And uh, again, uh, a company can uh, organize the, the activities that they premise only if you deal with the small groups because they have not room, they are not a lot of people that uh, could uh, follow the students. While on the other hand, uh, the best solution will be to uh, um, carry on activities at school supported by the company, but students uh, uh, do not uh, perceive this as a sort of different activity with respect to the, the, the standard school one. So uh, here, uh, the four scheme that we have uh, observed and studied during this uh, work. So you see the first two have been offered by uh, two um, uh, small companies that are not very experienced, experienced with the alternation scheme. Uh, the first one organized the, the alternation scheme uh, inserting the people as observed within their productive chain, a small group of people, and uh, realize it uh, at their premise. The second one designed the, the, all the other design actually the, uh, the process. Um, the other two organized by the companies, uh, even the first one at the, the very experienced companies was proposed to a small group of uh, students. In the second case, uh, the, the activities were carried on at school, mostly at the school, uh, while in the third case, uh, in, uh, at the company premise. In the fourth, um, the fourth scheme uh, is the one that we organized. We tried to uh, answer to the request of the school, try to organizing a massive uh, process. Uh, but of course, we have to organize it uh, at the school premise. Um, uh, we propose to uh, to organize the simulation or innovation process uh, because of course include all the uh, all the phases of uh, such process uh, also problem setting and also because this is uh, basically uh, uh, very important to develop the economy because innovation is uh, has been considered uh, as a dodging and not competitive factor of, uh, of the economy <coughs> uh, we uh, mm, the process in, uh, included 40 hours dedicated to problem solving, 30 hours to the problem uh, setting, problem solving, and 20 to the communication of the uh, achievement. Uh, we provide also some lecture of company organization, and we try to attract and uh, stimulate the student to find solution for the global uh, 
uh, goals as uh, <coughs> listed by uh, United Nations for 2030. Um, in this second uh, scheme, uh, we represent the fact that uh, the, only in the fourth uh, um, uh, alternational scheme, uh, we uh, stimulate uh, uh, the student on a problem uh, setting. Uh, while uh, in the second row you see that all, uh, more or less, all the uh, alternational scheme promoted the problem solving, uh, while in the first one, in the first case, uh, the, uh, the, uh, it was uh, based on a simulation and not a real technological uh, development. In the second case, uh, the problem solving was uh, weaker because the solution was uh, most or more or less uh, provided by the company. Uh, in the first two cases, uh, the, the alternation scheme uh, duration was only two weeks, while in the other two cases, uh, has been repeated uh, two or three years. Uh, the overall outcomes are, uh, are uh, represented in this slide. And uh, so you see that in the first case, because the the use of the simulation, uh, the tax significance uh, was uh, was not uh, perceived very high uh, by the students. In the same in the same case, uh, uh, was uh, much better, but uh, not so high like in the third case because the solution, as I say, you was provided by the company. The third case uh, that uh, that. Uh, um, uh, well, it was very well designed. The use of up to uh, up to date uh, technologies and promoted the integration of such technology was considered very good by the, the student. In our case, in the case of massive uh, um, experience, actually the um, uh, the evaluation was not so high like in the other case, and uh, with also some more uh, uh, governance problem. Uh, the explanation is due mainly uh, to the fact that the questionnaire was filled by all the students that took part in the, in the process, so also those that were not motivated, uh, very motivated one. And uh, the second uh, reason is because uh, basically uh, all experience, all the activities were uh, performed at, uh, at the school premise. It's interesting to show that in, uh, in bracket you see the value of the, um, the, the same, assumed by the same indicator uh, this year, where we will propose the same process, but uh, we uh, carry on it online uh, due to the lockdown. And then you see uh, this um, fill of the gap between the, 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 the different to stay uh, uh, in class or to stay in uh, at the company premise. And moreover, uh, the, uh, the questionnaire were filled only by very motivated people that were uh, more or less uh, half of the people that took part in, uh, in the uh, processes. So uh, you see that basically it's not a problem to be massive, but although uh, you have to consider only the very motivated people. Uh, this represents uh, the, um, the competences uh, that students declare to have acquired. So basically, they discover now a uh, novel dimension of the collaborative work and the team working. Uh, they uh, also learn to be flexible uh, to manage the unexpected. Uh, they were faced uh, with problem solving. And also they learn how to self-organize and also to how to organize and manage the, the process. Here we show the uh, this, um, satisfaction distribution that we were able to measure all in the case four uh, and uh, the massive one that we organize. And now you see uh, this uh, show you that actually in our case that uh, were compared with all the other uh, um, all other uh, um, uh, alternation scheme organized by the school, uh, the average uh, satisfaction was very high, but we were not able to attract uh, at least one third of the students. Um, 
although we had no uh, very critical situation like in all the other cases, so we, 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 you see that we have no very negative tail at low value one or two uh, on, the, on the scale that you see. And so um, the only interesting uh, uh, things to know is that uh, basically uh, the attractiveness uh, with respect to the students uh, should be uh, um, exercised in the first uh, year of the experience because here uh, you see that the dichotomy between motivated and motivated students develop already um, during the first year of the, uh, the school, the high school. And this process uh, has been uh, uh, carried on along the three years, therefore, the top 50 years of the high school. So, um, uh, if we uh, uh, look at the uh, positive aspects uh, declared by the students uh, 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 concern, uh, that concern the massive automation scheme. We found the orientation to entrepreneurship, the goal-oriented teamwork, the creativity and free initiative, the, the ability to get more self-confident, the, the stimulation to continuous problem solving. Uh, they found the process very uh, well planned. They appreciate a lot the technical uh, verticalization that has been uh, put in place during the fourth and the fifth year. Uh, on the other hand, we have also some cons and that has related to, to the, uh, some organizational aspect, for example, overlaps with the curricular activities that can be solved by online, uh, the use of uh, online uh, environment. Uh, the too few hours spent in the company premise, uh, also this is solved by uh, online environment. The small contribution given by less motivated students to team working and uh, to short time that has been dedicated to develop a, a prototype. Um, nevertheless, they uh, developed several interesting prototypes. I cannot get into detail right now. And I cannot also show you the, the demo that they developed. And um, uh, so uh, to conclude, um, I would like just to uh, leave you so with some guidelines. So, uh, is it quite evident that you have to preselect uh, very motivated students? Uh, it's better to organize an alternation scheme in small group. Aside, you were not uh, able to, to really select a motivated students. And of course, the, the process should be uh, very carefully pre designed. Um, Apparently, it's uh, better to, uh, uh, to carry on the activities uh, in, at the company premise, but this is not always possible, and the uh, possible solution is provided by online environment and uh, uh, contemporary participation of uh, uh, school uh, uh, tutor and uh, expert tutor and also company tutor. Uh, moreover, you have to try to limit as much as possible theory and organize them in field and increase as much as possible practice. Uh, of course, uh, taking into account the technical limitation and uh, limited uh, technical skill of the students. And nevertheless, you have to try to focus as much as possible on concrete projects and uh, uh, try to develop in the students both soft and technical skills. All this will, say, will suggest that uh, massive uh, uh, alternation scheme are very difficult to, to sustain, organize and sustain. At least if you do not uh, put in place a differentiated path so that the uh, most challenging path may be uh, dedicated to very motivated students and less challenged, but maybe uh, dedicated to uh, less motivated students. So thanks for your attention.
yeah thanks but so uh, let me just put my microphone on okay carla um thank you we still have uh, a minute or so for a question anyone want to put a question to leave a question for carlo um on the chat i don't have anything also carlo here in here in Avoda, one of the um one of the issues that the companies in this uh in this relation of school school and local companies uh, in such a model as you also shared here with us one of the things companies always mention when we're looking at those uh, three skill dimensions as you shared here with us so the soft skills or life skills as you also call them the uh, hard skills or more specific and technical skills and then the what you separated as the digital skills that now in the knowledge economy and all all that related is, is extremely important um, which skills do companies mention that are lower in your students here in Avodu, our companies are always complaining of an immense lack of soft skills yeah um uh, actually uh, as i say you know no one of the skill that i show you i mean in the, that i represent you in the in the uh, skill space uh, are fully developed by the school so um, i mean uh, uh, there are we have to make a distinction because uh, um, the company uh, are looking for uh, technical skill at least in ICT and, and uh, domain and for soft skill and uh, after several years uh, we understood that, that basically is, is not so easy to make uh, the students uh, acquire uh, um, a deep level of technical skills because of also this, uh, the curricular programs. Mm -hmm. So we have to change a little bit the curricular program in agreement with the, the, the teachers and then we can introduce some technical vert verticalization. But this can be done up to a certain limit. That's why, for example, most of the other companies, not the one that work with us, provide some uh, already uh, build up solution so the, the the students are just to play with them so uh, on the other hand if you want like the, if you want the student really to acquire some uh, soft skill then you have to to make them experience the whole process so i mean from uh, 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 let's say problems uh, setting that means also to explore the environment to understand a, a well a, a not well defined problems etc cetera, etc cetera. So in that case, if they follow the, the full uh, process, then they will also develop a, 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 a substantial level of uh, soft skill. And this is indeed what uh, the, the company appreciate. But of course, for the company, it's not enough soft skill. So they will really like to have soft and technical skill at the same time. So actually what's happened at the end of the process that they take, uh, they, they bring in, into the company only, let's say, one or two of the students that they had under they observation. Filter them out. They filter them out. Yeah. 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 But yeah, here's the same thing. Actually, they get, start filtering out and get the best in. Okay, thank you. I don't know if anyone wants to leave any uh, more questions. No? Okay. Thank you, Carlo. Yeah. Thank Sorry for much. the presentation. But I mean, no, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But the, the recording is going to be jumping around between black screen and... No, your... but I mean, at least you have the, the, the backup recording, so you can use that one. <laughs> yes, but it's all the, 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 the video... No, no, I mean uh, the no, backup, the, the one that I sent you before. <laughs> oh, the one you sent before, yes. Yeah. <laughs> use that one in your case. Okay, okay. Uh, so we'll go on now for...